shoot. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Allen Family Firewood again. Morning is right. <laughs> it's like 7 a.m. This is way too early for people to be up doing things. Oh, no. Especially no. me. <laughs> it's nice and cool out. This is when you get work done when yeah, it's cool Yeah, it is out. nice, I suppose. Uh, that Working in the heat in the middle of the day, but that's usually when None you... of it's good. None of it's any good. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, uh, well, anyway, <laughs> the other day, well, it was yesterday. Yeah. I went and got... Yeah, I was going to say, I went and got them by myself. You didn't even come with me. No, I didn't. I was stacking. Was you? Yeah. Oh, all right. I can't remember. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. You was stacking, uh -huh. wasn't you? <laughs> said there's no need for us both to go to pick this wood up because well, I can be stacking. We can do two things at once. That's right. right. Now I remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember squat anymore. See, I'm pretty pretty quick for this early in the morning, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. But I went and got three loads, you guys. Yeah. I, we was only expecting maybe one load. We got it from Mikey, Trees and Driveways. They had the crane there. And it was a mix of pretty much everything. We've actually been hauling in a ton of wood lately. Mm -hmm. But yesterday there was, well, there's the three loads, but we hauled back a fair amount of oak. It was all hardwood, wasn't it? No, no there was some pine, too. There was... Ate it. There's a couple saw logs I already put up top. Nice. There was some more maple, beech. And there was even a stick of yellow birch. And we never get yellow birch. That's huh. an odd. That's kind of like ash. We never get ash either. But Isn't that the tree that the chaga grows on? Yellow birch? Yeah. Yeah. Chaga grows on yellow birch. It's We've picked that up, up north before. Look at me go. No, look you're at right, me. follow me. Maybe it. I should start getting up earlier. <laughs> Jeez. But I've already cut up most of that maple yesterday after I got back done hauling that and split it. And you're about through stacking all of that. So yep. we'll probably end up going on to do an oak. But we figured we'd bring this to you because we got a call last night to go get a load of wood. That's probably second hat to you guys. You guys are used to getting ash. We don't. We mm -hmm. very, I mean, it grows here in Maine, and I've seen it in the woods. And it's, I mean, in certain pockets, there's fair amounts of it, but we don't, I mean, I just, I'm thinking in the last year, we might have had 10 sticks of ash. Why don't we ever get it? I, I don't know. I mean, because mm. pine trees blow over in the windstorms. They're soft and they break, and that's what the tree companies clean up. We get a lot of oak, not because they tip over, yeah. but because oak trees have acorns and they drop all over people's million-dollar homes and their fancy driveways <laughs> and drop on their fancy Lexus and Escalade vehicles, and they don't like that. Yeah, it's so. no fun getting dinged in the head with a yeah. acorn. <laughs> yeah, so they, they, they always get rid of all the oak trees. They leave the maples, which I'd like, I kind of like getting maple, but. Yeah, they're pretty trees. But he called last night, Dave, the, from Drod Crane, and said, Phil, do you want ash? And I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's like a gold mine to us. I mean, that's the, that's the good stuff. <laughs> and he said it had been dead for a year. I don't know if it's been dead standing or it's been cut down. I, he didn't say, and I don't know, and I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm just going to go get it because we don't get ash. No. I mean, that sounds like it's going to be ready to cut, split, and turn right out and sell it right out the door. That's so a good thing. I like that. No no sitting around. Not like this oak. You've got to wait mm. a year. So and that's heavy. after you split it small. <laughs> so that's what we're going to go do today. Well, at least first thing this morning. He wanted us there by, what, nine? Mm. So... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Had to, had to wake her up this morning and pound the coffee right to her to get Still it going. Still pounding it. Jeez. I'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be all right. You got a truck ride this morning. Yeah. I run, can, run the camera. And I can doze. You be a camera girl this morning for at least a little bit. Then you yeah. got to come back and stack, though. Yeah. It's got to get done. But I, I don't think there's anything else to... No. No. You got to get right. the trailer hooked up. And... No, the trailer's all hooked up. I already oh, got yeah. that done. Oh. It's okay. over there. Yeah, I did that before you got here this wow. morning while you were drinking your coffee. 
<sighs> anyway. Yeah. All right. We'll uh, we'll bring it to you once we get back down in there and get loaded up with some wood. Where are we going to pick it up? Can't remember. No, I forgot. <laughs> We'll, south. we'll let you know south. when we figure it's it out. It's always south of here. <laughs> okay, we're going south. <laughs> and it's I, it's probably down around uh, Kennebunk, Saco, Scarborough. Oh, okay. Old Orchard Beach, in, the, in that direction. All right. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It I'll, don't matter. We're getting ash. I'll, I'll just ride along. <laughs> we're, we're getting the good stuff, so yeah. it don't matter where we got to go. I like, hey. All right. All right. We'll be right back at you. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, you just never know. You got to have a plan B. <laughs> Trailer's all hooked up. We're ready to pull out of the wood yard, and my phone dings. I'm just going to show you the text that's down It's at the bottom here. This is Dave the Crane. We were just going to go get him. This is the, the part right here, so. Oh, man. Go figure. Try and try and get going early, and oh, you just tipped over your coffee and well, truck. Well, I'm yeah. trying to do do things. Trying it's to, early. To, <laughs> it's not that early. It's eight o'clock. Come on now. I'm glad I got up early for this. Now what? What's plan B? <sighs> plan B. I didn't have a plan B. I was we were gonna go get. I was pretty wound up just going to get a load of ash. Well, we have to uh, we have to switch gears now. Yeah, I'd say we. Go unload the trailer, take that off back up top side. Um, I have to stack. Yeah, you gotta stack what's in that trailer. I don't know if I've gotta split a little bit more maple so you can finish that pallet, but I think we're gonna go on to do an oak. My buddy Scotty, who fixes all my saws and all that stuff, we, we keep him supplied with wood and he goes through four cord a pretty small splits of red oak and we gotta get that to him might as well do that yeah he's probably not expecting that right this second but well he's, he's gonna get it he's gonna have to make a plan b too <laughs> yeah, yeah gotta have a plan b oh wow all right all right let's uh let's go get things back unhooked because that's just how things go around here i guess you never know sure you do. never know all right, let's get after it. Make something else happen. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see, where am I? Yeah. That's good. Well, we got the saw good and sharp. And... It's all gassed up, so I guess we're going to get after the oak now. You're going to go stack? Yeah. All right. Let's make something happen. Let's go. <laughs> Not sure how far we're going to get. We went from bright and sunny to cloudy and looks like it's going to rain. But we'll do what we can. Meanwhile, back at the stacking trailer, where all the important stuff happens. <laughs> Hopefully there's going to be enough in there to finish this pallet. If not, I'll have to have him cut me a little more maple to wrap that one up and move it. But we'll see how far we get. 
Well, looks like we have success. Few left over, but pallets filled. We made it. Didn't have to have him cut more, but I hear him spitting and spewing over there and bad words flying, so let's go see what's happening in that direction. Hmm. Is everything okay at the corral? No, no. Every one of them logs that we got yesterday, it's got purple stains in the bottom of the oak, uh. which means it's got hardware. I figured it, you know, I mean, what are the odds you're going to hit a nail in a 12 foot log? Well, I've made probably 12 cuts and I've sharpened the saw three times and there ain't nothing left of this thing. I mean, I have worn that down to, I mean, I've gone way past, but, and cause I don't have another chain in the truck. I usually buy them a dozen at a time so I don't run out and I've just torn the truck apart and there's no chains in there. So I guess it's a road trip up to Reggie's to go get chains now instead of cut wood while it's nice and cool out and it's probably going to be raining in an hour so <laughs> well typical day for us yeah and if you tore the truck apart i guess i know what i'll be doing yeah well probably mountain dew cans flying everywhere i knew there. roughly where the chains would be <laughs> i keep them in the door pockets and they ain't there oh well, there's one for the little saw and there's one for the john's red but I got to cut all day. I don't need my hands going to sleep running the John Red, so the orange one's the answer. We just got to go get chains for it now, so how'd on, you make out on stack and On like the road full. again. <laughs> Is it pallet full? Pallet's full. It's just a little, probably, I don't know, 36 left in the trailer. So there was extra. I thought I was a little, a little short. We'll put them on a different pallet, but then we, we right. can move that trailer. I don't know. We'll see when we get back. <laughs> Let's go deal with one thing at a time here. Well, here we are on the way to Reggie's, and it's pouring. <laughs> just can't beat it. You just can't win. <laughs> uh, so much for cutting for you if it keeps on doing this. Yeah, pretty much. There's a hay field that someone just cut down that's all getting rained on. That's all going to be mulch hay now. Ruin that field. Good stuff. No, well, it... plan C. <laughs> Stay <Jeez>. tuned. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we made it back to the wood yard from Reggie's, and it hasn't rained here yet, which is surprising because what was we a half a mile down the road and it started raining and it rained the entire time we went there and came back and I was going to bring the the camera into Reggie's, but that place was packed. I mean, it's raining everywhere, so everybody goes to the saw shop <laughs> uh, but I did manage to get a good score you guys Reggie treats us Reggie's not a sponsor of the channel by any such means but he's he's helped us out since we started the YouTube thing and he's donated some stuff like chainsaw traps and a, and a helmet stuff that we can give away he's, he's just great people you guys and if I most of you are not from here in the area but if you are stop in and say hi reggie you know i mean he's he's he really is good people he might not be for you if if you're opposed to hearing the truth or uh or if you're opposed to hearing a little foul language because reggie's going to tell you the truth and it might not always be with the best of words but <laughs> he's going to tell you how it is he's a good old boy but he treats us awful good i mean i got three cases of oil 10 10 chains and a box of files, all for about what it would cost me to fill this truck up twice from dead empty. So you can't go wrong with that. I mean, we bought us that 500 saw up there and he sells everything. He sells Huskies, he sells steels. He's got all the stuff there. He's got lawn mowers and all, all that other stuff. So, and he's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to a chainsaw not running right, but we went there because we need a chain, so I'm going to put a chain on, get it filed, and yeah, I file a chain before I even use it, a brand new one, because that's the way I do it. Chains come through, and it's like a hard face on the chain, and yes, they will cut great when you first put them on, but trying to sharpen it afterwards, it's not so good with a hand file, and I hand file everything. 
and I'm not going to do a sharpening chainsaw sharpening video. No, I won't do it. <laughs> but because that chain is hard faced, it's heat treated. I don't know what they want to call it. It's about impossible to sharpen after you dull it and you have a brand new chain on. So I take three or four strokes right off in a brand new chain and then one stroke off on all the rake is. To me, it, it cuts better than a brand new chain and it makes it so I can keep filing it afterwards. But that's the game plan right now. Get this all back going so I can get back to cutting some oak. All right, so like I was saying, on a brand new chain, I like to take just one one stroke off the top of the rake that just one it helps it cut better I think and I'm sure there's people that are a whole lot more well versed in this than me but I'll uh oh there we go get that side done I usually give it a you know what I ought to put a new file in why not a brand new chain. We got a brand new box of files, so why wouldn't we? One, two, three, four. You can feel it when it just starts to bite. Good enough. One, two, three, four. just cuts off some of that hard facing where, where it's heat treated so that when I'm ready to sharpen it again I'll actually be able to do it uh, that one's not wanting to cut in there we go you can feel it when it's when it starts to actually dig in and you don't want to go any further than that on the first time sure there's people that got a, a better system or a better way of doing it than I do it, but I don't know. It's just always worked for me. And, it, and it's more of a, there's tons of videos out there on how to shop on a saw, but it's more of a feel thing. That's why I've never done a, a video on it, because it's pretty hard to show somebody how to do this. It's kind of a, the only way to learn it is to do it and do a lot of it. Then you'll get the gist of it, I guess. Perfect, all the way back around. Put the saw on the other side. I'll hit the rake is on this side. Kind of do the same thing, but they don't need to watch all of this. All right, I'm wait till I get the saw fired up and then we'll start cutting oak again.
Shouldn't have messed with it. All right, that's a pretty prime example right there, you guys. Why I take the hard facing off of these. Because in the event you do hit a piece of metal on a brand new chain where that hard facing have never been filed, you ain't gonna hand file it. Not after it just hit that little piece of metal. You'd have to send that out and put it on a grinder. I don't have a grinder, I hand file everything right here on the tailgate of the truck. You see the two box in the corners where it's wore the paint right off, but uh, you know, it's, but it won't be that bad to bring this back now. I bet, I didn't really hit it that hard. I didn't think there was anything metal. I thought I was by it, but oh well, we'll file it up and make it good again. <laughs> well, Phil fought and fought hitting metal, managed to get the two cord cut up, but he's pretty annoyed. He's over there getting the uh, splitter fired up. I don't think he's fit to be talking on camera right now, if you know what I mean. But we'll let him split for a while and get it out of his system and we'll go from there. to plug in the uh, trailer to the battery charger before we forgot because we're gonna have to go deliver this two cord to Scotty and that wouldn't be good at least we remembered that I'm not gonna be much of a help to him there's no stacking involved here so I guess I uh, guess I'm the videographer Hopefully, I'm not sure how far we're going to make it, but it's looking like thunderstorms now, so all the time we wasted going to the saw shop and him sharpening the chain. We shall see.
thunderstorm, but it rained pretty hard. It's still raining lightly now, but I went to cover, but Phil kept splitting because he's got a roof. Go see how he's making out. How are you making out? Are you able to speak nicely now? I guess. I'm calmed down now. I'm not <laughs> cutting iron anymore. <laughs> Man, that was getting old. It seemed every time I cut into a piece, I was cutting a nail, a bolt, or something. Used up that whole, almost that whole brand new chain, and I'm not even sure I get too caught over there, so. Whatever. Um, I'm just, it's busting up nice. This red oak splits nice. I forgot how nice this splits. But, Scotty will like it. It's nice little pieces. That's how he likes it. <laughs> He's got a small stove. He does. Yeah, he wants it little, little, little wood. He'll burn it this winter too. It, it always dries too, just in like four months, the way he stacks it, so. Yeah. Well, let's get back at it, see if we can, you can get this accomplished today. It won't seem like I'm making much headway. I might have a little better than half a cord in that trailer, but. Yeah, I'll go check it out. Whatever, it's gonna be a bit. Definitely made some headway, but not too cord headway. I'm gonna call it a day here for myself anyway. I leveled out the trailer for Phil so he didn't have to stop and do that, but it's been a long day since 7 a.m. It's about 5.30, 6 o'clock now, so I've had enough. And I'm not being useful. It's just sitting around waiting to take clips here and there. It's just a waste of being productive. So he's gonna split till sundown. You know he'll do that and you know what splitting looks like, so. We're going to wrap this up in the morning. We can't um, deliver that two cord to Scotty until the morning anyway. Probably around nine. That's what I'm thinking. Unless everything changes and we can't deliver it. So <laughs> we shall see, but I'm calling it for myself for tonight. All right, guys, I didn't get it finished last night. Well, I finished what was in the corral, but it was eight o'clock time I got done and I figured I'd probably best not be firing up saw to finish cutting up what I needed. So I come back over this morning, cut up what I had to have and got it all split on there. He only needs four cord. There's way more than two cord on that trailer. I mean, I only got to come up to the bottom of that pipe to be a state legal two cord, but I always go plenty higher, but I'm, I'm guessing it's more like two and a half cord, <laughs> but oh, it's heavy stuff. I mean, I don't know an exact weight, but I know it's a 14,000 pound trailer. And when we do red oak and put a half cord, what we consider half a cord on a pallet, the tractor will only lift the red oak, maple it lifts just fine, but red oak, it only lifts it off the ground about an inch. So, and they say the tractor lifts 2,800 pounds. Call it 3,000, that's 6,000 a cord. Two cords, 12,000. It's probably a two and a half cord on there, so uh, 15,000 pounds. It's only a 14,000 pound trailer, and I don't think that means you can put all of that in the trailer. I think you're supposed to add in the weight of the trailer. I think the if I remember right, I think it said you're only supposed to carry about 9,800 pounds in this thing. So it's definitely loaded because when you look at that old Ford, the, the rear end is like squatted right down like there's a pickup load of fat girls in the back. But 
I've taken out all the, well, I didn't take out all the weight. The bundles are still in there, but I got rid of them cases of oil, the can of gas, some other stuff that was in there to try and lighten it up, but hopefully the DOT ain't watching this. <laughs> but we're going to go get this delivered and hope it dumps it. The battery's charged up good, so we ain't got that far to go, just a few miles, I think. So let's go get this thing tipped off and come back and... I'll probably do it all over again, but it'll be a different video. We'll, we'll see. Let's go see what we're going to get into now. <laughs> Well, at least I don't have to stack all that. <laughs> no, no, no stacking involved with this. That's these are the no. good kind of loads. And he's going to get another load like that to stack after he's done. <laughs> yeah, he might not want another full load right away. He said he he only goes through like four cord, and I don't think they're what I call yeah a full cord. So he, he three cord might do him. After he sees this load, he, I'm sure I'm going to get a call tonight. <laughs> Especially after he's got to stack it all. But yeah. Yeah. That's some that's some nice stuff. I mean, that's I don't care who you are. When you got little splits like that, it's going to dry. He'll burn this all this winter. He's still got maybe half a cord back there. Mm. But And look at all the purple in this wood, you guys. There's a lot of hardware in all this wood. And yeah. I didn't, it's, that's just, and you see it all throughout this whole pile. It's just. Some of the pieces are like completely purple. Yeah, they are. I mean, that one's got quite a bit in it, but I certainly destroyed enough of a chain. Yeah, that's a, that's a drag for yeah. sure. The original chain, that was junk, but I was at the end of it. And then the new one I used, I might as well throw that one away. I mean, I could re-sharpen it and get a couple more sharpenings, but I'm already down to the lines. So. Yeah. Uh, bees. <laughs> yeah, they are. Big old bumblebee or something. But well, we started off thought we'd get some nice ash, but yeah, we thought. But you yep. gotta have like, especially in our wood yard, you better have Plan B, C, D, E. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> multiple have multiple to. plans to go and do stuff. Got to expect the unexpected. We're used to that. Yeah. You gotta just roll with it. <laughs> it doesn't always go as planned. And... No. No, but hey, we got something to accomplish regardless. Yeah, I'm sure That's it's a like good that. deal. Them guys is wood yards too. Nobody, oh, I'm nothing sure nothing ever goes as planned. It, I mean, we can't be the wood only yard ones. life. It's yeah, same scenario. Yeah, <laughs> but we're but, gonna go back and probably do this all over again for him. And I don't think they want to see two videos in a row no. of doing the same no. foolish thing. So we're wrapping this one up. Yeah, we ain't gonna bring Cameron video it. But you said he might call you tonight, so you might want to hold off before you get started. Well, he's gonna have to put the hustle to it, Scotty, and <laughs> get this stacked. Put the whip out. Maybe him we should Diane, call him. <laughs> he probably have Diane out here stacking it tonight. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know Scotty. He'll uh, stack the wood. Yeah. But, all, all right. right, this is it for yeah, us. Let's wrap this up and get on back to the woodyard. So, all right, we'll catch you later and bye and whatever else we do. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, See guys. <laughs>